Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to Give Us a Cthulhu Adventure. Okay, so, real quick, that Randolph thing. I looked it up, real, I looked it up, I didn't try and go in through everything. It's just an Easter egg to Lovecraftian stuff. There's a recurring Karen Fury with, with, uh, by the ran name of Randolph something or other, who, co who shows up in, uh, in Lovecraftian stuff all the time, and it was just a reference to that, so... I, there's nothing for me to look for. So we're going to move on in here. And we've got a big red button. An imposing door, a panel, and a pit and another pit. I like how they are. I like how only these two pits are relevant. None of these other pits over here are relevant. It's a dark, deep pit, but down there I can just make out something wrong squirming around none of that sounded good glimpses of eyes teeth and tentacles coming in and out of the darkness man am i happy for that great hey put your hand in there there's the horrible screaming again no <laughs> what about this what about this other pit another pit another unseen creature writhing at the bottom I'm just gonna, the stuff that nightmares are made of. I'll take a wild guess and Terrible say eye. that once I go into this horrible screaming, horrible scream, tree screeching. No. Okay. Looks like this door somehow slides into the wall. No visible handle. Okay, fair enough. Could this lead to the butcher's inner sanctum? Possibly. Do you have any residents on the door? Stay out, mooks. Yeah, there is residence on the door. Go figure. Yep. Definitely open somewhere else. Okay, I'm just. I don't know what I should be looking at the control panel, the panel here, or the central device. A plain scratched metal panel of sorts. Looks stuck in place. Okay. Don't touch unless one escapes, worms. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, what about this? We're gonna resonance everything first. A big red button. Okay. I'll read that in a sec. Button's begging to be pressed. It's a big red button. It's a horrible idea. Press this button, worm, and we all die. So let's not press that big red button. Is what I'm hearing. Uh, there's a big red button in the center of the hall, but it might uh, release in those whatever's in those pits. Better find out more before pressing it. But what if you press it though? Actually, I don't like my chances of surviving that. Okay. Got to think of another way. Okay, let's go to the panel and actually work on that. Because go figure, that's what it kind of it kind of expected. It's stuck. Okay. Um. Got three things here. It might be the liquid resistance spray. Well, first, let's try. Good types got leverage. Okay. Yep. Crowbars. Always carry them. Okay, let's take a look at this. It seems to control some kind of security apparatus. Okay. Probably put in place in case one of those creatures escapes. Makes sense. Don't. I figured. All right, so let's take a, let's take a look at this thing. Looks like a view of this room from above. Yeah. And there's a cage hanging overhead. Okay. So let's see. We can cage of the button. Let's just see here. There's a cage over the button now. No. What? Uh. The big red button both opens what I think is the door and the actual lab and the monster's pits. There's just one protection cage that I can move around. Better make it count. Okay. Okay, yeah, go figure. That was an easy puzzle. Well, <laughs> I can look at this abomination. None of the other abominations, just this one. Okay, first things first. Uh, still not in the lab yet. Okay, so let's just cross that thing out. 
Okay, abomination. I don't know what that is, but it wants me dead. Okay. It's horrid. It's fine. No time for that. What's wrong with that? I ain't touching it. Okay, fine. Just lose the look of nitrogen on it. They're afraid of you now because they think you can do more. You had one spray thing though. As much as I kind of want to see what happens if I try to use the drill on it. Why did the protection cage go up? That's I hate to admit it, but I was shaken. No crap. Not scientific reality or abhorrent supernatural nightmare. These horrible blobs of flesh, limb, and rot existed. I could still smell their indescribable presence, even though they were all gone. God knows where. Yeah. It takes a lot to shake me, but I, I was shaken. Yeah. Uh. So thing is, uh. You left the, uh, you, you did that, you just kind of let them out there. Fun fact, uh, the pit's still the same exact information. Well, let's go look at these pebbles in this, uh, piece of wood. A bunch of pebbles must have fallen from the ceiling when the cage descended. Okay. Nice pebbles. Okay. No resonance. They got the pebbles. Yeah, I might need these. I, I mean, we found weirder things. A uh, slightly charred piece of wood. Who knows where it came from? Woody. Oh my god. Why did that one... Okay. We found a stake. So we're good against any vampires. Combine the wool with the pebbles. Okay, combine the power tool with the piece of wood. Need to perforate it. Hit the pebbles the uh, No. <laughs> eh. need to perforate it. Uh, I was going with the other way around, but sure. Okay, we'll go in th we'll go in the big door. Fine. Oh I was in. I was inside the butcher's inner sanctum. <laughs> I'd expected this place to be lousy with guts and gore and parts and pieces, but but this wasn't that. This was, well, colorful. Colorful in a way that makes a Joe uneasy, and it set me to wondering what this guy had for triangles. So many triangles. There are a lot of triangles. <laughs> You're not wrong. There are a lot of triangles. Okay, holy crap. Uh, and this is why every episode takes so long. I've noticed these dust mounds everywhere around here. Oh, those are, that's dust? I didn't read the thing. What the heck are these things? This stuff looks similar to the stuff in Flamel's place. Interesting. That one's good to know. Huddle, huddle, huddle together, lovelies. What? <laughs> good question. Uh, no. Who knows what this stuff actually is? Okay, let me guess. I've noticed these dust pal. I've no. Yep. What the heck? Okay. This stuff look. Now, question. You get the same huddle. resonance? Yes, you do. What? Okay, that's something I was curious about. I'm wondering if the right pan. Oh, no, on left panel paintings will be the same. There's openings over here, machinery, instruments. Holy crap! Uh, let's just go left to right. A strange, strange device. Okay. Seems to be out of power. Okay. Do as father tells you, little one. No idea how to use this. Oh, well, there's a loose handle here. I didn't see that. And there it was, a loose handle hanging conspicuously from the door of an empty cabinet. What was that? It looked like something I could probably use. Stupid flies need to learn. Okay, I need... And there it was, a loose handle hanging conspicuously from the door of an empty cabinet. Okay... I got a loose handle. Anyone else hear that? I thought I heard something else too. 
painting of a wing. Stylistically, very similar to the central piece. Okay. Reminded me of the ones what disappeared from underneath Vlad's castle back in Transylvania. But you weren't there. How did you... Whatever. You have every single black one of my doing. My desire. I don't feel good about this. No apparent way of directly interacting with it. There's another voice I keep hearing. Some kind of control panel looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. I want to operate it so bad. Left. Point left. Point left. Got it. Got it. It isn't powered. Okay. An assortment of... Everything you see is according to the plan. Okay. I'm gonna have to start these ones over. Can't make heads or tails of these letters. An assortment of books, but they're all written in what's either an alphabet unknown to me or code. Okay, there we go. These are not for you! They're no use to me. Central painting. I stared at the Kraken head. And it seemed to stare back at me with its blood-red eyes. A little unsettling, I had to silently say to myself. Okay. Red veins ran all over the hideous head, seeming to pulsate right under the skin, despite the fact that this was just a painting. I don't think I'd hang this thing above my work desk, no matter the circumstances. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the thing from <laughs> with the lights off. And you shall breathe true light. Who? True life? Was it dead to begin with? Interesting. No apparent way of directly interacting with it. Okay, so there's the desk, there's the central control panel, there's papers. Let's take a look at the desk, I guess. This must be the butcher's desk. Okay. It's littered with discarded pages full of gibberish. Or... Code. Worms, worms, fly. Okay. As tempting as it is, I'll pass. Tempting to do what? You just said tempting. Papers. Okay, that's not really what I want. Oh. Well, this is going to be... There's more triangles everywhere. Okay, well, I don't... There's nothing I can see to do here. Let's see. A -K H K. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing with that yet. It's definitely a control panel. Controlling what? That remains to be seen. Yeah. I gotta say, I find the aesthetic pleasing. <laughs> okay. Worms and flies. Damn. Okay. Can I... So if I... <laughs> keep hearing that voice. What do... Can I actually... No, there's no resonance on the papers, which is interesting. And if I try to activate them in any other way, it's going to do the same thing, I'm sure. Okay, let's take a look at this right here. Some kind of control panel looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. Is this the same stuff I'm saying? I want to operate it. Yes, it is the same stuff. Right. Point right. Okay, so this one says point left, and this one says point right. So it isn't. This one's instruments, which is... Of all the things in here, those alone seem to justify this nutter's nickname. Yeah, probably. They look pretty disturbing. And triangular, most of them. I have noticed that. There's a lot of triangles. No apparent sign of use, but could be you just cleaned them real well. <laughs> that's, that's possible, too, yeah. This won't hurt a bit, little worm. He also seems to have an affinity for worms. I'm not touching them. Okay, here's the right wing painting. It's a painting. stylized painting of a human head. Wait, what? Oh. It's, uh, pretty generic looking. 
I doubt it represents anyone in particular. As much as I want to hear them, it always seems to come at the most inconvenient time. My contribution. Okay. No apparent way of directly interacting with it. Okay, so we have openings and machinery. Let's go to machinery, I guess. Oh, those were down here? Joy. It's an uneducated guess, but judging by the number of cables coming out of this thing, it might be what powers everything in here. Oh. Well, that's interesting. I want to operate it so bad. You've said that three times now. Wait, why are you... Why... Just break it off, little fly. What? Why did you have to be up here for those ones and down here? Okay. It's probably going to be openings I need to do. Mess with right now. I'd love to, but I see no apparent way of turning it on. Okay. That was the first time that was in a spot where it wasn't inconvenient for me. Moth to the flame is all he's A couple of vertical openings. Something's missing here. Okay. I've got so many notes that I need to look into. Some kind of switch was definitely present here, but it's been broken off. Okay. Just break it off, little fly. Interesting. Okay. It's missing something. Okay. So let's take a look at my notebook, because we've made, like... Okay, it was only two new notes. Uh, the papers strewn on the butcher's desk are in that weird uh, gibberish, except for the letters M, C, K, H, and K. The what gives. A couple of vertical openings in the power generator make me think I need to stick a lever in there. Uh, on the lookout for... Uh, a two-pronged object, like this one right here, this handle, possibly? Yeah, this fits. But if this is a power generator, it might make for a shocking experience. Okay, so... I believe the handle uh, is what I need to turn the power back on, but I need to sh handle for it. <coughs> okay, well, what do you have that can do that? Hey, put in the chainsaws. <laughs> I love the fact that he's just like, what? No. Do I have... Okay, nothing in here. Uh, none of these things hit it with... They're both metal. Not a good idea. Okay. Uh, I don't know how you... I don't see an opening to stick it into. Yeah, I didn't think so. Pebble... Nothing. Wait, make an opening with the power tool. Forgot about the power tool. I've put a nice round hole in it. Okay, and now we put the uh, wood, which doesn't conduct electricity, into it. All right, got myself a shock-free switch. What'd you actually call it? Shock-free handle. Okay. The wooden handle should keep me from getting electroshocked. Okay, so now we grab this and put it in the opening. We made a handle. Got it. Okay, now you can see the paintings better. Yes, power's back on. Okay. Human, Kraken, Dragon. So we're back to the uh, things and trying to activate all of these weird weird panels that we now have access to trying to touch. And of course, I'm assuming no the books are still no use. Oh, the papers. Oh, right, no, no, it's just going to bring this here. This still has the MC HK. HK. I can't help but notice there's an M right there. Uh, but I don't see in here the other letters. Okay, what is this? Some can we actually act? Oh, we can actually touch things now. Okay. More triangles. Did you? The panels are symmetrical <laughs> control panels on what looks like doors to the left and right of the lab. The access codes needed. 
uh, seem to be a combination of direction arrows and what I think is some strange alphabet. Okay. Now this one says to turn left. Uh, okay. So left. But that doesn't tell me what to do with these. Okay. And over here, I'm assuming we want to have facing the right. But I don't know what the sim I don't know how to work with the symbols yet. Okay, so what about this strange apparatus? I'm seeing if I'm trying to find something. No idea how to use this. Okay, so we don't know how to do that. What about on the desk Best. itself? I mean the control panel itself. Okay. More of these symbols. I don't. Okay. Uh, there's a control panel right above the desk. Uh, four letter code in a strange alphabet that I suspect is the butcher's own demented creation. The four letter code is that is probably those. It's probably those strange ones right here. So that means we have to figure out something to do with these right here. Okay. Hmm. Uh, these are the kinds of puzzles I'm not good at. Especially considering that I don't see anything except for this. What is the most commonly used thing? I don't know ciphers. I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. Okay. Oh, shut up, sir. You're starting to get annoying. This one right here has the wing. Oh no. <laughs> this is not going to go well for me. Is there. Let me see if I can't. I can't, like. No apparent way. Do his father tell. Okay. Every single black. I don't feel good about this. You probably really shouldn't now. Tell you right now, this is the one. Though. This one is the most triangular, but that's not going to do anything for me. I'm probably going to have to. Uh, I want to look this up because. That's not there, but I'm probably going to have to spend more time than just on this stream. I'm probably going to on this, and I'm going to have to uh, figure that one out. Is there anything new? Wait, these more books. An assortment of books, but they're all written in what's either an alphabet unknown to me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Can't make it. These are not I was really hoping that these books would help me. No. Wait, what? That's not gonna help. Okay. Well. It's gotta be with these papers. It just gotta be with these papers. And this is the kind of code. This is the kind of stuff I'm just blatantly not good at. Especially considering part of it's hidden. But this, this is. Stop talking. 
like your stuff isn't helping me figure this out either, you know. Let's see. Is that the code cipher? Is that what I'm at? Oh no. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to figure this one out next time. Uh, spend some time on there and I will explain what I did when I figure it out. But I can't figure it out just by doing this on the stream because this is not, it's not the stream. I'm not streaming uh, on the recording because I'm just not gonna be able to figure it out and talk at the same time. So. Uh, I'm going to end this one episode a little bit early, so thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Okay, actually, I think I figured it out, and I feel like I feel like dumb for not thinking about it. This is 26 characters. If this is alphabetical, then we just have to do M C H K. So. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Wait. How much does this one look like a K? Mm -hmm. no, not really. <laughs> the M and the C looks like an the M and the C. Okay, well, I got that. So, what did we find in there? Another book. Nothing on the cover but a triangle. This better not be written in gibberish. <laughs> better not be written in gibberish, okay? This thing must hold some important information. Also, knowing that, if you use that one... Oh, I'm probably going to do that. I took screenshots of this and this, expecting it to be able to figure out a cipher of some kind. Uh, but... <laughs> Rest, Fred. Okay. But now, because I know that, I'm probably going to try and figure out what these papers say. Well, grab the book. It's written in that thing. Good to know. Hello. These ones are all pointed left. Let me guess. The next ones are all pointed right. So there's a spot where they're all pointed right. Oh, I don't see that. Interesting. Oh. Thank you. Uh, MCHK, or rather its corresponding letters, in butcher speak. Eek was the access code. Now leafing through, I presume, some kind of diary. There's symmetrical... Okay, so... I was kind of hoping that it would show that. So, these are the symbols I need to put in the left thing. This little U thing, this pointy thing, and that. Okay. But there are only three, right? I wanna. So you, we already know that. Okay. This thing. God dang it. I think it was this one right here. And this one. I could be wrong. And since it didn't open that up. Oh, I mix up the pointy and you thing, and then it's this. Okay. Okay, so. So. A here and Y here. So what is this one? I don't think it was. What does that even spell? Might have been this one though. No. So we have A and Y, and that's I think S. I thought it was this one. Oh, wait. It's this one. B. Bay?
Okay, we have a chasm here with some torn fragments. So I've noted this. It's a small piece of ripped cloth caught on the edge here. Okay. Whoever they were, I really hope they didn't end up in the darkness below. They might have. Idiot! Left toward the bay, right toward the EOD. Get it through your thick skull. EOD. EOD is what we need. I really don't need it. Maybe just its story. Okay, over the chasm. Whatever passage used to be here, it's now a big, black, intimidating hole. Okay. If this used to lead to Kraken Bay, well, it ah. water just leads down. Take it down. Okay. I'm not really into exploring huge chasms with no bottom to be seen. So we want EOD over here. It's convenient that they can't. Um. Here. That looks nothing like an E. FG. Oh, and this one's just D, which is easy to find. Just one over. And there's the other path. Okay. Now, I'm just going to I'll explore that path in the next one. I just want to add this to the end there. Because I felt dumb after I thought, wait, was that 26 characters in just an alphabetic order? Well, since I fixed that and I have this all set up, now I'll, th uh, I'll see you next time.